Hey, it's Melody. Welcome to A Saner Spin on Crazy, episode three. This week, um, I will be talking about, it's just like diabetes, but first let me just tell you, I will be in Atlanta on Thursday, May 15th at 7 o'clock at Skyland Trail speaking with an amazing comedian. His name is Kevin Briel. If you don't know who he is, Google him. If you're in Atlanta, come and see me. I'm also booking uh, more speaking engagements for the tour. And yeah, so email me if you're interested in that. More importantly, to the point. So this week I got an email from a reader, a lovely reader, who asked me about something I wrote in How Doll and Hyacinths. And specifically how I wrote about my least favorite bipolar mantra being, uh, it's just like diabetes. Um, it, I didn't go fully into it in the book. You'll have to read it to figure out what the whole point was. But, um, but yeah, so she's, she basically said, yeah, it is like diabetes. What's the deal? Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you believe that? So I don't believe that because it's not just like diabetes. It's like saying Iran is just like Iraq. They're both countries. They both have similar letters. They're actually next door. So in the same way that mental illness, bipolar disorder is similar to diabetes and that they're both illnesses, they're both physical illnesses because the brain is part of the body they are attached. Um, despite the fact that we, we call those mental illnesses sort of inorganic, non, they're physical illnesses, they're legit illnesses, but the point is that's why people say things like it's just like diabetes because we know that the world accepts diabetes as a legit physical illness. Unfortunately, it's not the same when it comes to bipolar disorder. So I get the impulse, but it's a false comparison. It's not even close. We, in terms of etiology, we have no idea what causes the vast majority, I would say pretty much all of mental illnesses, don't quote me on this, but pretty much we have no idea. Maybe PTSD, we have a better idea, but we have very little idea. We know genetics are involved, with bipolar at least, we know genetics are involved. And schizophrenia is the same. We know genetics are involved. We know, um, to a high extent in bipolar and schizophrenia for sure, and also depression. Um, but yeah, so we know there's genetics, there's also electricity in our brains, and there's chemicals and all of that stuff. Um, but the fancy pharmaceutical commercials that make you think that it's so clear, like you just put the serotonin in, and good, happy, little bubble bouncing along on Zoloft jumps out. No, it's not like that. There is no one specific drug that works in the same... I wish it were that easy. Like, I, there's no one specific drug that works in the same way that insulin works for diabetics. Like, that's great that it actually works for them. I wish that we had something like that. And making these false comparisons makes it, I think, less likely that we are going in that direction to having those um, proper medications. So, it's not just like diabetes is all I wanted to say for this week. Um, yeah. So, I will see you next week. Probably I'll be taping from Atlanta. We'll see. Um, in the interim, have a wonderful week. Bye.